Are you looking for inventory management software and you find yourself stuck in this hard place where there's really expensive, complicated ERP software, and then there's really outdated software, and you need something that can be configurable to the needs of your smaller, mid-sized business? Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're a no-code implementation partner. Now, today we're going to talk about using Airtable with Softer to be able to meet the needs of your inventory management use case. Airtable is a no-code system that allows you to really easily create a back-end application for storing all of your data. And combined with Softer, you've got the ability to take all that data in Airtable, extend it out to your users, make websites, portals, and inventory management software. So it's really the best of both worlds when you're using these tools in combination together. If you haven't used Softer before, you can sign up with the affiliate link in the description below. One of the things I really appreciate about Softer is they're already baked templates, meaning that you don't have to start entirely from scratch to be able to get your inventory management solution off of the ground. Let's create a new application. And from here, we're gonna choose the inventory management solution. And there's a whole bunch of different application templates that we can choose from. Let's go ahead and click on preview. And we can get an idea of what we're looking at by taking a look at the thumbnails that are here. Let's use this template. And we're going to use Airtable as our backend data source here. We'll press continue. And here's where we need to authenticate. And so we're going to use the personal access token, which is the newer method with Airtable to be able to authenticate. We can generate a personal access token inside of Airtable. And then we'll go back here and we'll paste this in. This is one that I'm using just for this demo. So it really doesn't matter if you see it, but that's something that you're going to want to keep private. Now, in this case, we're going to want to copy the base into our Airtable account. So not only do we get the template that's on the front end side of what this looks like, but it's also going to build the data structure that we need inside of Airtable. So we'll copy that base, and this will automatically create the base and the different tables that we need for our backend data. So we can see here are the users that we'll be able to log in with. We have our product inventory of the different individual products that we're utilizing, the manufacturers that create those products and the relationships that we have with them as well as the purchase orders of what actual products have been purchased. Now, this is something that when you're looking at it, you might think this is a little bit simplistic for my needs. I might want to be able to have multiple products for my purchase orders. And so we need purchase order lines, or we want to be able to track warehouse locations of where the items are at when we're doing our pick lists. In this case, this is really easy to be able to add additional tables and configure. And I'll show you an example in a moment, but let's keep going with the template now back inside of Softer. So in Softer, it now recognizes that we've created that Airtable base. And so we can go ahead and create our application. And once this is created, check out how great this is. You can see all of these tutorial tasks that we have, but we've already completed six out of 11 because by using that template, we get a lot of the pieces taken care of for us that we don't have to build everything from scratch. Now in Airtable, we had purchase orders, manufacturers, and products, and those different tables that we had inside of Airtable correspond to different pages that we can have inside of Softer. So we can take a look over here under pages and we can see that these have already been created for us. Now we can tweak them as we want to see different fields on the page, but we don't have to start entirely from scratch. So here we've got a page just for adding new manufacturers. So we can click on that and we can see the experience to be able to add a new manufacturer, the different fields on the form that we have, that that admin can use to actually be able to create a new manufacturer record inside of the system. On our homepage, we're actually looking at a few different blocks and these blocks can be modified. So right now at the very top, we're looking at our product inventory and we can choose what that maps to inside of Airtable. We can select how this is ordered and how many items are being displayed. Maybe we want to show instead of three, let's go ahead and display six on the page. So we can really change that layout, configure it. Maybe we want to be able to change one of these fields. So let's scroll down and we can see these units ordered right here. And instead of units ordered, maybe we want to change that and display our units sold. So we can update that and it'll change what parameters we're able to see there. We can also add new blocks to this screen. So we could add a block and we could choose from many of these different displays. We can see different ways of displaying list view data. We could add forms where we need them. And as you can see, we're already utilizing a number of different blocks. And there's this icon here that shows who has visibility to that. So you might kind of wonder, why do we have three different menus up at the top? And that's because this displays differently, whether you're an administrator and you have the ability to add manufacturers. So you see that green call to action there versus the employee who can see the list of manufacturers, but can't add them. So they have different sets of permissions because we have different user groups within the system. And then finally, we have what displays to non-logged-in users. 
So we can really control the behavior of who can do what and who can see what in the system depending on the user groups that they're in. So back in Airtable, you can see that we have two different roles. We have administrator and employee. So Lucy's an admin and Dominica's an employee. And based on their roles, that's going to control what access they have inside of software. Now, when it comes to user management inside of software, we can click on users over here. And this is actually bi-directionally syncing between Airtable and our users inside of software. So if we add information about that user inside of Airtable, it's going to sync it all the way across, which is really convenient. Now, if we look for that Lucy, we can see that her information is here. That Lucy, at example, she's our administrator. And one of the things that's really convenient about how software handles users is that we've got the ability to have this magic link, which means it's a unique URL that's generated for that user that automatically authenticates them. Now, you can still do the traditional username and password combination, or you could do SSO, depending on how you want to configure it. But for many organizations, this is a quick way to be able to get access into your data. So we could copy that magic link or send it out to her. And when she clicks that link, that's going to authenticate her and give her the inventory tracking experience. So again, because she is that administrator, she sees that ability to add a new manufacturer. Here's the products that she has, and she can load more products as we're looking through our inventory and purchasing. If we click that add manufacturer, this is going to take us to that screen, a form to be able to add new manufacturer details. But if we were to take a look at Dominica, who is an employee, and we copy her magic link, that's going to take us into her experience. And you notice that that UI is different. We don't have the same option. She can't add a manufacturer. Instead, she can click on the manufacturers and see the available manufacturers. But because in her role and responsibilities at work, she's not setting up the new relationships with other vendors and manufacturers, she doesn't need that kind of access. And so this is where really the configurability of the platform is what makes software so awesome is that we can create entirely different experiences depending on the sets of users that we're configuring this for. Now, I mentioned there might be times where you want to configure your application differently from what the template has available for you out of the box. And it doesn't get much easier than doing this with Airtable and software. So inside of Airtable, I can add that new table. And we're going to call this locations because we want to be able to track different warehouse locations where we have the different product inventory that we're picking. So here I filled in some data for my locations. Now inside of software, we can take a page that we already like that has some similarities. So in this case, we've got our purchase orders here, and this is a list view. So we wanna be able to copy this as the basis for creating our locations. So let me open up my pages here, and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this orders. Now we have orders copy, let's change that name. So I'm gonna to go to my settings, and we'll change it instead to be locations. And we'll change that page URL as well. So it makes a little bit more sense. We'll have locations. And then we can click on this table block. And instead of syncing to purchase orders, we're going to sync to locations instead. So now our data is going to update. And we can see this is looking mostly what we need. Let's come into our content and change a couple things. So we're going to delete this date field because we don't need it. We don't need the other name here. The category, we don't want to display the checkbox. So instead, let's have this display as a tag here. There we go. We've got our categories. And so you can see this is starting to already shape and look like the way we want it to appear for our end users. We can publish this out and they can view that in their new experience. So what's it going to be? Heavy, bulky, complicated software or something that you can set up in minutes with Airtable and software? Go ahead and get started with software's inventory management by clicking in the link below.